All right, guys. Just looking at the uh, the wiring diagram. Now I'm I'm going just for the standard um, wiring diagram. You can do a different uh, setup, um, but I think you do need yeah you do need another relay to allow this to happen. So basically, what mine would do is that uh, you can see here that's the top headlight, that's the bottom headlight. So how I'm going to have mine, I'll only be running one headlight at a time. So when it's on low beam, low beam will be on, naturally. Alright, when I kick it over to high beam, high beam will come on and low beam will go off. Okay, so if you want to actually have them both on as well, uh, you've got to do this standard one here. This Not the standard one, you've got to do the uh, double high beam one. Yeah, so this one down here, so dash play mount switch. So you've got to actually put another relay in, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not someone who rides at, the night, at night. Um, oh, yeah, I, I stop way before it. If I do, well, I'll, yeah, I can handle that. So what I've got to do, there's all the, um, that, that's the water plug connectors that we've got to put on it, all right? So basically what it is, is to say that's the top light, that's the bottom light, red, goes into the blue because it's high beam, okay? And the black's earth, so it just goes in the brown. And it's simple, and the bottom one there, the red will need to go into the low beam, okay? So we'll look at the red. Low beam is blue. Uh, sorry, low beam is green. So down here, up into low beam. All right. So I've got to get a bit of soldering out. So there they are. They already cut the plug off or the connector off. It's already been cut. There it is there. And then we'll solder them, heat shrink. Now, always got to remember, Shane, put the heat shrink on first, mate. All right. I don't know how many times I've done it. Forgot to put the heat shrink on. So I solder it all up and then I go, oh, and put the heat shrink on. So we'll cut some heat shrink and we'll put that on. Might have to take that off a bit, I think. Cut that off a bit, I think. Yeah, we need a bit more room to play with. And yeah, we'll solder it up. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to have a cup of tea and a bicky. And we'll do a bit of soldering later on. All right, catch up with you later. Well, guys, I've uh, hooked the wiring up. Um, so we'll give it a go. So, like I said, I'm using this top wire, wiring diagram. What you've got to also do, the lights come with another wire, which is already attached to the lights. I'll show you that in a sec when I take that off. Um, but it's already attached to the lights. Uh, can I see it in there? Yeah, here. See it here? So that, that one's not hooked up. I don't need to hook that one up. Um, I'm not going to. So what that is, that's the, the wiring that you use um there it is there is the white wiring sorry down here the low the low beam there's my connector that goes up to the the yellow and that's your running light okay so you do have to put your own connector in which i've done under here you can see it down there that's what i've done and i've got some heat shrink to put over that and then i'll and i'll tape that up um there's all my other connectors i have connected it all so green is low beam, blue is high beam. Okay, and there's the waterproof plugs. So when I heat shrink that, put some heat on it, should all be neat and tidy. Um, it only allows you to disconnect it. So that's low beam, that's high beam. All right. So, like I said, I've connected mine up in a way when I put my high beam on, my low beam should go off. So when my high beam, low beam's on, my high beam's not on. Okay. But when my high beam's on, my running light should still be running. Alright, or should be on. So fingers crossed. I'll connect the battery up. Alright, that's good. So that's the low beam. And the running light's still on, because that's a running light down there. That's the running light there. Okay. So that's good. Right, now if I put my high beam on, which should be the top one up here, that should come on, and the bottom one should go out. And it does. So that's high beam, and it's still got the running light still working. Okay, so there you go, that's working. So that's all working. Beautiful. Alrighty, we've just got to make it neat and tidy. Yeah, so that's the top one. Like I said, if you want to run on both lights at the same time, you've got to use this bottom one. It says he wire, headlight wiring diagram for double high beam. And the only way you can get that to do that, it doesn't go on your switch, guys. You've got to put your own uh, relay or, or connector or switch here. 
which allows you to hit that switch um, and then it, both lights will run and gives you I suppose get you uh, it would keep that better spread might give you the distance but like I said the lights are both the same earlier they're all the same the boom is they're still 10 watt I think they are um, it's just this uh, cover that goes over it all right but anyway I'm not worried about the lighting I don't ride at night I know I might get caught but uh, yeah I'll, I'll suck that up if it, if it was to occur um, I also found out I said earlier uh, this grey backing plate, all right. So I, it has got a picture of it in here actually, where it, it just shows you a picture, and I can see it actually goes there on the back there like that. Okay, goes in there like that, and it just allows any sort of rubbish or, or crap to go in through near the wiring. So I have did find out where that grey uh, plate goes. So we'll put that in. Um, I've got all my switches in already in the top plate. You can see there, they're all in. Uh, they clipped into place. Um, what I had to do um, with all of them actually, uh, they're really tight and I didn't want to push them in and break them, so I just gave them a little bit of a file, I mean just a little bit, and they popped in there nice and tight. There you go, so. Um, like I said, there's still other nuts and bolts where in the packet. I have no idea where they go. It doesn't show you anywhere at all in, in this, at all where they go. There's, so there's still bolts there. I have no idea where they go. So hopefully when it all comes together, I can identify where each goes. So, well, I've got it all, yeah, got it all wired up. All the lights are in now. And as soon as I've got to tidy all this up, how this is all going to go. Um, but it's, it all works. I've had it on, had the ignition on there, it all works. I've disconnected the battery again. I'll do it all up. Now this is what I mean by the instructions, you know, they, they just don't have everything in it. You've got to work out some things for yourself. Um, I've just noticed, I've just taken this bottom brace out. I had this in down here. While I've taken this out, I've got to swap this one over and put it up the top here. Okay, now you wouldn't know the difference, but I only went to a quick number look there. I noticed that this hole here, as you can see, it's bigger than them holes. So, okay, what's going on? I only just noticed it. I seen it sitting there like that, and I said, that, that hole's bigger. So you can only look at, the, all you can do is look at the photos, you know what I mean? All you can do is look at some, some of the pictures, I should say. And, you know, you look through here, and then you see in this washer here. See this? Which is that. Now that size thread fits that. Okay, that fits that. So that goes through there. Well, you, you get the point. Anyway, you get the point. See? And that's what the screen bolts onto. So you can imagine that's like that. And then that bolts onto there. There, there. Just notice that. Just caught that and you can see that picture of it here. Nothing in there. I mean, this is where it's frustrating. You know, you, you wouldn't know otherwise. Um, something else I noticed too, which I, I actually didn't see in the whole lot of, which I really don't like. It's absolutely, I'll have to make something up. See, so yeah, you've got a top plate here, which is fine, but there's no bottom plate for it. So the side plate will go on, but then there's no side bottom plate for it here whatsoever. So you, you'll have all your wiring here, you see up there, there's actually nothing there. You know, so you get shit and everything up in there, up in here. So, well, you know, I'm going to probably get send an email back to them and just suggest them, hey, about, you know, I think you should look at maybe putting a plate under it. I mean, they only need some little labs, um, some sort of tabs here or something like that. They could have one straight here, have a little hole around it so it goes around that. So I'm going to make up my own. I'll get some plastic like this, I think, and, and see, because there is a hole, and I can screw it on the here. So I can do that one and that one as well. So I screw that one on there. That's when I noticed the hole was bigger. So I could do that one all right. But this one here... Um, might be able to do the same thing and then just go down to here, but these ones, none of these have got holes in them. Keep that. Yeah, none of them got the holes there. So, um, yeah, I might work something that out myself. Okay, so I've um, put it together. It's, the bolts all got to come out again. I'm only just mocking it up so uh, I can make sure it all fits because they're all got to be locked tight, medium strength. Um, I'll put the other uh, side fairing on to see how this bracket fits. Um, this patches it to here the side fairing there um, so that's how it looks guys all hooked up there um, really don't know what I'm going to do with that what it really needs is like a 
clamp there. That's what it really needs. I'll have to look at the picture, see what other people do, but that's what, what, what it needs. Something like that to hold it there. So I don't know what I'm going to do off that. You know, that buddy flopping around like that. So yeah, I don't know what they do. Um, so yeah, I have to see. The only thing I don't like, I, I don't think it's any sort of a knock, is where this bracket goes down here, is leads into here. Well, in there, it's just a, a screw into the plastic. Um, yeah, I don't think that's very strong. Yeah, that's going to last, but anyway. Um, yeah. I don't know what, what else I could have done there. But that's, you know, that's how it is. I don't know what the other ones are like. So there's all the lights. There it is there. Be bright. Now, if I go on high beam, you'll see the low beam, which is the bottom light, go off. And just the high beam. Okay, it's still got the running light on it, but it's the outside of it. Now, I've, I've put those guards on, those plastic covers. So, as you can see, you see on the wall there, see that's called the flood. So, it opens it up more. All right, they're way too high. I'll have to muck around and see what height I can put them. But you see the difference. And when I go on high beam, you can see it's more like a spotlight. So it's more circle. So that's the difference. Uh, so they're no powerful. They're just different. Uh, yeah, you can get different colours and everything in this. I could change that to blue and all sorts of stuff, apparently. So. All right, so that's it there. Then the, the big screen goes on. Um, that goes on there on the outside bolts onto there basically you have an idea how it goes so um goes on the outside i think it's a fair bit of wind protection it's huge actually so yeah i've been mucking around putting along you know taking your time you know like me it's definitely you know i reckon it's a two-day job it's taken me two days anyway just taking my time and i'm still not finished yet um yeah, and so the only thing is I don't like, as you can see under here, you see all the opening under there. So I'm definitely going to put something under here. Oh, I don't like that, all that exposed. On, I've got shit everywhere. I'm not going to be shed spotless, but I've got shit everywhere. So what I've done, where I'm at the moment, is um, I've actually painted my side covers inside, just painted them black. Okay, so they go inside, they go in like that. Okay, that's on the other side, that's upside down actually. And then I've actually used this wrapping for me the outside of the bike, all right? Now remember, that's on, this is on, I've got this on the wrong side that goes on that side, all right? So that gives you an idea, all right? So that's wrapping. I put that on, cutting all nice holes in there. Actually pretty proud of myself there, pretty, pretty good job. So we'll see what happens with this wrapping. If that comes off or doesn't look right, look, in the end, I'll end up painting it white, same colour as the Husqvarna white, and maybe get a Husqvarna sticker. Because that will then match into, um, if you get a bit of an idea, have a look. See, that goes down like that there, guys. That's how it look. I don't think that looks too bad. But maybe, you know, the black and the white, I don't know, white and sets all together. I don't think it'll be okay. But if I don't like it and this carbon fibre falls off and, you know, doesn't last, I'll just paint it white and get a husky sticker. Anyway, I've done that. What I've done, a bit of a metal work. Um, it's not my best, my best subject, the old metal work. Anyway, I was almost better at um, carpentry than this. So what I was doing is making a little template, okay? Because I said in my other videos, this is absolutely bugging me about all this under here, see? Um, I've made a little template, so that goes up underneath there, like that, okay? Look at that, all right? And... I've got my other little square plate, this one here, and that goes under there, all right? And then they, oops, and then they bolt into there. There's one there, and there's one there, and there's one there, and there's one there, all right? So you can see what I mean. The people who make these, these rally towers, how easy it would them to make the same thing. These ones don't have holes in them. But all they could do the same thing. They could put actually product and put a hole in there, a threaded hole, same thing. They could do this. Um, like I said, I'm going to email the chap. Maybe he can make one for me. Maybe not. But it all went to shit. Uh, well, yeah, a little bit. Because they've got a thread in them. 
So if you can see up in here, there, snapped off. So when I was, this one's the same. This one's screwed in okay. So when I was doing a test run, I was putting the, uh, the bolt in and it started tightening up. And I stopped and went, oh, why is that tightening? So then, I went, okay, so I backed it out, and then, but it wouldn't come out. It's I'm tightening up again. I, I was turning it the right way, and it snapped the bolt up in there. Now, that doesn't do anything at all. It doesn't alter anything differently at all. The towel's all done in a way. But now, if I wanted to do this again, I've got to take this bracket off, drill that out, drain the thread out, but the thread's still a bit iffy anyway. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to make this template. I've got heavier metal over there. I'm going to shape one in there and be nice and do all sorts of nice job. But anyway, that's out of the... Uh, I'm not going to do that now. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do now, take this side plate off again and just put a uh, like a cover inside and sit on top of these. I'll show you later on and do it that way somehow. All right. Uh, it's just me. I mean, some people probably don't even worry about it, but I, look, look at all that. I mean, you get a shit going up in there. I don't want that. I think it's well. There's my little, my little sort of guard that I'm going to put underneath it. Here it is there. Uh, so I'm going to put that underneath the headlight or within the headlight. Now you can see that. I mean, they could they could make that up themselves. Imagine them making that up a proper bracket that can attach. See, you got these holes here. See here. Okay, they could attach it to that. And they could attach to that. Right, like that there, and then all they'd need to do is put two holes in here as well for the center. Same thing that they've done here, they just do there, and then they've got a bracket. Imagine that bracket going up there, a proper metal one like this here. Imagine that up in there. I mean, you know, so yeah, they, they could easily do that. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I can do it two ways put it under here, but I'm going to put it inside that on top of this, these two brackets. I'm going to sit it in there. This is only really soft, but it'll, it'll do the trick. I reckon it'll do the trick. And I'm just going to cable tie it on. You can see there, that's how it's going to go. Look at that. Got a cable tie on there and there. And it'll just stop any rubbish getting up in there. Well, I've, uh, I've mocked it up. It's uh, and put all the bolts in. But um, I need not to anyway, because I want to take it all off. And lock tight everything. But uh, that's how it looks. That's the finished product. No, it's um I don't know, the money you pay for it, is it worth it or not? Uh, I don't know. But anyway it's uh, it's on. Um looks alright. So that's the whole fairing. There's a little bit of distortion through the screen when you look through it. Um but that's not too bad. As you can see you get a fair bit of uh wind protection from that. So it'd be interesting to see what it's like out on the road. So yeah, it's all mocked up, um, it all fits, that carbon fibre look there looks alright doesn't it, that's where the indicator's going there, so I might have a look at that, see the carbon fibre that is, I might leave that, looks alright I think. Um, only thing that I've got to look at fixing is um, how we do something here, what I really need is some type of um, bracket here, that can be part of it here, and then I'll keep it away. So um, at the moment it's got a cable tie holding it back at the moment. So I need to do something there with that. Yeah. I'm not having that hanging around, like flapping around. So I need to do something with that. Um, time will tell how it goes in um, riding conditions and you know, all the jarring and you know vibrations, see what happens if it cracks um, and, and the likes. You know, we'll wait and see. Um, I uh, so there's the headlights, there you can see the different types of pattern there, you can see it here. So that's low beam, that's high beam. Um, the only thing I forgot to do is that this one's tight. This one here I didn't, it's a little bit loose, move up and down a little bit, so you got to adjust it in here. Because um, how I'm going to adjust my, how high it is, all I need to do is unloosen these little brackets here, this bracket here, and it allows me just to turn it a little bit. Um, so I'm not blinding people. But um, overall, there she is. Um, like it or not, that's it. And there's my little my little bracket that I put there, protection. As you can see. You can see now the wires are not exposed anymore. Alright. 
uh, that's the side bracket like I said before it goes into the plastic top bolt here uh, into the sorry the, the screw goes into the plastic sort of um, side cover there's a bit of tension on that when you put this on it you know it's not like it just matches up nice and neat you've got to pull it in towards it um, but anyway time will tell so all I've got to do now is uh, I'll take all the screen off again it's not a big job just take the screen off and then I've got to retighten that headlight up I'll check it make sure it all still works the headlight and then what I'll do is um, just take one bolt off at a time and lock tight it um, it's a bit hard to get to this bolt here as well to tighten it up you know you see it turns and I, you know so you've got to try to get something in here to stop that from turning um, So anyway, only little things, you know, only little things. But overall, it's uh, looks all right.